Hi, and welcome to this short video on Azure Boards integration with GitHub. I'm Mickey Gousset, a DevOps architect on the Microsoft DevOps Customer Advisory Team. If you want to find me online, the best way to do that is on Twitter, at Mickey underscore Gousset. In this demo, we're going to look at how you can integrate Azure Boards with GitHub. This is new functionality that was just announced in December of 2018. In today's DevOps world, it's important that you track your work, write your code, and be able to link your code changes back to the reason why you made that change in the first place. With the integration available now between Azure Boards and GitHub, you can do just that. You can link both commits and pull requests in GitHub back to Azure Board work items, such as tasks. Now we're going to run through that entire process in this demo. Keep in mind, at the time of this demo creation, Azure Boards and GitHub integration is in public preview and is supported only for the Azure DevOps services at this time. With that, let's get to the demo. We're going to start off by creating a new GitHub repo. We could use an existing one, but for this demo, we're going to create one from scratch. So here I am at github.com and I am logged in using my GitHub account. At the upper right, I can click the plus sign and say new repository. I'll need to give my repository a name. We'll call this my test repo. I can give it an optional description. I am a test repo used for testing Azure Boards integration. And I can make this public or private. I'll keep it public for now. I'm going to initialize it with a readme. I'll add a git ignore for Visual Studio since that more than likely will be the environment that I'm using. And I won't worry about adding a license for right now and I'll click the Create Repository button. And pretty quickly, here's my Git repo. All stood up for me, ready to go. You can see there's the name, my test repo, and it has a gitignore file and a readme file in it as well. The next step is to have a work item in an Azure DevOps team project that we can use to associate with the code changes that we make. You can use an existing project. I'm going to create a brand new one. So here in Azure DevOps at dev.azure.com, I'm in my organization, DevOps Mickey Public, and I'm going to click Create Project. Now I need to give this project a name, so we'll call it My Test Project. I'll give it a description. I am a test project being used for hands-on labs. And I can make this either a private team project or a public team project. For now, I'm going to make it a public. I'm going to leave the version control as Git and work item process as Agile. And I'm going to click Create. This will create a new team project where I can then go into the Azure board section of that team project and create a new work item for us to use for the rest of this demo. So here we are in my new team project. As you can see, team project creation is very fast now. And I can go to boards and in boards under work items, right now I don't have any work items. So I'll go to the new work item dropdown and I'll select task. And this will allow me to create a new task work item. So I'm going to give this task a name, and we'll just call it task to link to GitHub changes. And I'll click Save to save my task. And you can see that it saves my task. It gives the work item an ID, in this case, the number two. And what I'm going to do also is change this from new to active, to make it an active task. And I'll click Save again. 
So at this point, I need to make note of the work item ID, which is number two, because I will need that so I can link any code changes I make back to this particular work item. So we now have created a GitHub repo where we can put our code changes. We've created an Azure DevOps team project and a work item in, in that team project so that we can plan and track our work. So the next order of business is to connect our Azure boards in this team project to our GitHub repo so that we are able to link between code and work items. To do this, while in this team project, we go to project settings, GitHub connections under boards, we go to GitHub Connections, and we connect to our GitHub account. Now, I've already, I'm already logged into my GitHub account, so it may not ask me for authorization, and it did not. If you were not logged into your GitHub account, then it would open a window which says, enter your GitHub account um, user ID and password, and you'd be able to enter your authorization credentials there. In this case, since I was already logged in, it takes me past that. And now I can select the repository or repositories that I want to use with Azure Boards. In this case, I want to use my test repo. So we'll select my test repo and click save. You can see that we now have a connection. So we have a connection to this board this particular repo is connected to the Azure boards in this project. If I wanted to make changes, then I can move my mouse over that connection, and there's three ellipses here on the right, and I can click more actions. So this allows me to add repositories, remove repositories from this connection, or remove the connection completely. Now that I've created the connection between Azure DevOps and GitHub, I can make code changes in my GitHub repository and link those back to the task work item we created earlier. Let's see how to do that. We're back in my repository at GitHub. Now I could make changes using VS Code or Visual Studio, but I'm going to do all of my changes directly through the web browser here. So I'm going to open the readme.md file. And then I'm going to click this link, which allows me to edit this file. So I'm going to edit this file. And on line three, I'm just going to add making a code change. If I scroll down to the bottom of the page, this is where I can enter my commit information. So for my commit message, I'm going to put AB for Azure Boards, the pound sign, and the number of the work item that I want to create a link to. So in this case, two. And I can click Commit Changes. AB number, then followed by the work item ID, tells GitHub, go talk to Azure Boards, find a work item with this number, link to it. So if we go back to Azure Boards, so we'll click Boards, we can see there's our work item. And if we open our work item, you'll notice that the work item is still active. And over here on the right hand side, we have a new link to our GitHub commit. We can also see the same link by going to the links tab. And in the links tab, we can see there's the link to the GitHub commit. And I can click the link and it will open up a new tab, taking me to the commit information related to the commit. This also works for pull requests. So if you put a, B, pound, and a work item number in the in the pull request, then it will also create the same link. 
Now, one other option that you have is to use a keyword in your commit message. Azure Boards supports the keyword fix, fixes, or fixed. And if you put that keyword before the AB pound work item ID, then it will automatically move the work item to its completed state. Let's see how that happens. If I come back into my README and I click edit this file, then I'm going to add another line of code trying the fixes keyword. And if I scroll down to the bottom for my commit message, I can say this change fixes AB pound two. So I'm using the keyword fixes. I could also use fixed or I could use fix, singular, not plural. But I'm going to say this change fixes AB number two and I'm going to click commit changes. And again, we can see there's we've got three commits now. In my repo, I can look and see there's all my different commits. And if I go back over to my task and I do a refresh, you will now notice that my task has moved to a closed state. And I have a second link. This changes fixes AB number two. And because I used the keyword, it automatically moved this work item to its completed state. I can also see the history on the work item, which allows me to see all the changes that have occurred to it and kind of shows me the different states that it has run through.